Hello there, folks. Space Oyster here, and welcome back to Charmander Conquer Sinnoh. In the last part, our first attempt at the Elite Four went pretty horribly. And in this part, I decided, you know what, why not try do a few extra things, and then we'll go back and try again. Yeah, I figured, um, well, I did say that the best way to grind for the Elite Four, if you're not quite ready for them, is just keep going at it until you eventually get to a high enough level. Um, doing that off-screen was very risky. I think I already mentioned that. So I was actually grinding outside of the Elite Four, which is why I was in Sunny Shore. And then, um... Yeah, I decided against that because I wanted to um, make repeat attempts so that way I have content to do. Because, you know, failed Elite Four attempts are content in and of themselves too, right? Right, right, right. You know what, and if I happen to get through it, I can do that too. And on top of all of that, I can also just uh, cut out the Elite Four members we've already beaten. So I can just go through AA Ron again, and then we're good. Anyway, here is Mess Spirit. Oh, I wasn't in the right spot. Hi, Mess Spirit. So now Mess Spirit has been loaded into our Pokedex. It flew off somewhere, and there is Rowan. Dot, dot, dot. That was M Lucas. That was Mess Spirit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I'd asked you to do at the Conrave Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mis mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Lucas, why don't you chase after Mess Spirit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the PokeJap marking map, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokemon. What? You don't have the marking map? You should occasionally pay visits to the PokeJ company, you know. Go on, Lucas. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. Those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy that experience. Take care, Lucas. So, yeah, uh, marking map. I think you get that, as Rowan said, at the Poketch Lab. Uh, probably after three Brad badges. I don't know. Anyway, not the point. The point is, Mess Spirit is a roaming Pokemon. So, uh, the dealio with roaming Pokemon is that they, well, roam. Um, I don't remember the specifics of the mechanics, or if they changed. Um, I only read about them for the Generation 2 games, and in the Generation 2 games, the way a roaming Pokemon would work is they could move... Every time you moved from a route or city, they would change routes or cities, but they could only move to an adjacent route. Uh, they never actually went to the cities. So, um, so a way to uh, make sure you could uh, force an encounter with them is to go to two routes that were connected to each other and just keep going back and forth between them until the legendary doggo showed up in your area. Um, I imagine the same might be true of Mesperit. But Mesper is a psychic type, so they might decide, eh, it can hop to whatever route it wants, because it can teleport. But I would think that it can just only go to adjacent routes, so that way players have a way to force it to show up. Anyway, since the roaming Pokémon tend to be at a much higher level than the wild Pokémon around them, uh, that also makes them for... or makes for makes them easier to encounter, because you just pop a repel with a Pokemon that's around the level of the legendary, maybe lower, uh, slightly lower, and then you guarantee that you find it. Anyway, um, regardless of if you chase down Mess Spirit or not, just interacting with it in its cave, um, it counts as marking it in your Pokedex. Azelf and Uxie, on the other hand, are going to behave very differently. As you can already tell, Azelf here is going to battle. And despite my earlier mention of KOing them for a little bit of XP, 
experience points, I am going to attempt to catch them. Uh, emphasis on attempt, because I'm not saving before major battles, so um, this could very well end up in failure. Anyway, I like this legendary theme. I thought for how I forgot how boppin' it was. All right, anyway. So, the reason why we led with Disney is we're going to paralyze Zelf. And then I do believe all three of these um, lake, the lake trio, I believe their base stat total is the same. I want to say it's about 500, but I don't quite know or remember or care. Anyway. So the quick ball failed, as it should, I guess. Although, I really shouldn't say that, because in Scarlet and Violet, I happened to catch the uh, legendary Pokemon in those in quick balls. Most of them, anyway. Anyway, Disney could probably take a Zelf out with one more Thunderbolt, but let's go for a return. I don't know how good a Zelf's physical defense is compared to its special defense. Uh, it took quite a big hit, though. Oh no, Disney fainted. But we have a Zelf in catching range. So that means we can send out whatever and it'll do just fine. Let's go for some yoga puns. Oh yeah. And then I know I said I was going to probably get new ball capsule thingies, maybe, but I decided against it. I am also not prepared to capture legendary Pokemon, because I did not suck up on Ultra Balls. Or dust balls. Dust balls work really well because, well, they're obviously in caves. And dust balls work in places that are dark or at nighttime. And it is dark. Alright, anyway, let's use up these ultra balls and then go from there. Anyway, since this is just going to be me throwing pokeballs and then Azelf popping out for the first, uh, on the first attempt the whole time, I'm just going to cut ahead to when we either fail to catch catch it, fail to catch it, or KO it. Whatever happens first. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we are at the point where Azelf must be killed for the good of the mission. Well, not killed, but KO'd. I do believe legendary Pokemon, starting with Generation 4, uh, they respawn. Um, they respawn when you defeat the Elite Four. As elf disappeared deep into the cavern. So, if you happen to not save before an encounter and you want another shot, all you have to do is beat the Elite Four and then go back, and they should be there. Or at least I believe that started happening with the um, with the fourth generation. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, that did not go well, but that is fine. I figured I'd wait until I only had. Um, Peachon left, uh, simply because with Peachon, um, that was the one I was training up a little bit. I did do a smidge of off-screen grinding uh, outside of the Elite Four, in fact. But that's not the point. That what the point is. I um, um, Bird Pun hit level 50, so Peachon was the next one I was going to get up to level 50-ish. Um, I'm not too sure if 50-ish is a good point for defeating the Elite Four. I believe the first time I played Generation Four, I managed to defeat them with my Pokemon in the high 40s, low 50s, but I was using items in battle um, meticulously, religiously even. I don't know. Anyway, but since I'm not going to be using items in battle, this attempt at the Elite Four probably won't be as, um, possible at such a low level. Oh, right. I don't have rock climb. Oh, boy. Okay, then. Oh. That puts me in a very difficult spot. Okay. Well, since going through the snow is difficult, and I forgot to stop by a Pokemart, and actually I don't think Snowpoint has a Pokemart. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see if there's something else I have in my PC that can learn Rock Climb, and if not, then I guess Peachon will just have to go through the Elite Four down a move. Uh, let's see. There's the Pokemart. Okay, so there's a Pokemart. 
I don't know off the top of my head what can and can't learn in rock climb. It's a very uh, weird move. Anyway, dust balls. Uh, I can afford 17. We'll go with 17. Yeah, 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking I could buy just one timer ball and we can go from there, but nah, the dust balls will probably work better. Although timer balls, if the battle does wage on for long enough, and it most likely will, um, I believe long enough is 10 turns. Then that's when a timer ball hits its maximum usefulness, which I do not know how that compares to a dust ball. Anyway, what Pokemon do I have around here? Uh, let's see. I believe Land Shark can learn it. So can Garatina, maybe? All right, let's pull out Garatina and see if she can do it. And we'll drop Yoga Pun, because... Oh, right. Ugh, I forgot about that, too. You know what? Forget it, forget it. Girl 18, we're in... Yeah. peach on. you're just gonna have to make do with Rock Climb. All right, here we go, here we go. And I do believe I can just buy more return TMs if I had money, because I just spent it all on Pokeballs. But anyway, yeah, I believe I can just buy a return TM so I can reteach uh, Peach on how to return in the future. I should actually check that before we move on, though. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Eh, I have stalled long enough. Anyway. Uh, I guess an interesting thing to talk about while we're on our way to the next spirit is uh, of the Lake Trio, I believe a Zelf is the most competitively viable, since it not only has the highest attacking stats of the three, um, it also learns Nasty Plot. So, um, yeah, both good things that give a Zelf an advantage over um, other critters. Well, the other members of the Lake Trio. Uh, let's see. And then Azelf also learns Explosion. I believe um, X Uxie learns Memento. I think it's called Memento. Uh, it'll, it, it, they all learn a move to KO themselves. I think I already went over that. Yeah, they all learn a move that KOs themselves and then does something. Uxie gets the one that debuffs the opponents. And um, Mess Spirit gets Healing Wish, which will... Um, uh, fully heal the next Pokemon you send in. Anyway, this is Uxie. Oh my goodness, it's so Uxed. Anyway, hopefully its defenses aren't too different from a Zelf's, because if they're about the same, then I can just uh, do what I did before with a Zelf. Thunderbolt and then return, and it'll be in range. And the quick ball didn't work, of course it didn't. Okay. And I believe their move sets are all the same except for their setup move. Um, Azelf had Nasty Plot. I think Uxie will have Calm Mind. I uh, don't quote me on that specifically though. But uh, otherwise, other than that, they'll all know Future Sight, Swift, and Uproar. I believe. Don't quote me on that either. Oh, wow. Okay, I was completely wrong. Uxie knows yawn. Uh, well, let's Thunderbolt it again. Right, and that is definitely not low enough. Let's see here. Oh no, Disney took the future side attack. How could she? All right, well, let's just go for Grass Nun, I guess. Oopsie seems to have pretty good special defense. Oh, it has amnesia. Never mind. Okay then. In that case, this grass stone's not gonna do that much. Hmm. But I don't want to risk another thunderbolt, so let's just stick to grass knot. Until it amnesias again. And then we can go for another thunderbolt. Maybe. Uh, we probably shouldn't risk that. Yeah, let's just stick to grass nuts. 
this is going to be a long and tedious affair, folks. Anyway, um, catching Pokemon. Uh, the mechanic is kind of neat in that, um, well, as you know, the ball has to shake three times before it'll potentially work. Um, so it, I think what it does is it rolls a check to see if the Pokemon will stay in the ball for each time it wiggles, and it needs to pass that check four times. Um, so Pokemon with absurdly low catch rates, like Legendaries, um, uh, since it has to run that check four times and their catch rate is so low, their odds of popping out are very, very high. Um, which can be very frustrating, but it also makes it very, uh, very nerve-wracking when the ball wiggles three times, and then they pop out. You know, just to rub salt in the wound. Alright, so that's Disney down, and as elf. Her Ooxie is in the red, but I don't know if that's red enough. Alright. Um. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And I don't believe we can safely soften it up anymore, so this will have to do. Dust Ball, go! You got this, bro! I don't know if the Dust Ball actually got this. It didn't. All right, let's get ahead. All right, I have decided that I don't like Ooxie anymore, so we're just gonna KO it now. I don't know if Ice Shard will be strong enough, but hopefully it'll be strong enough. But the point is, I am tired of Ooxie. Oh, hey, that didn't KO it. Maybe I should try one more, although all I have left right now are Pokeballs. You know what, you get one more shot, Ooxie. One more, uno mas. And you popped out immediately. You have chosen death. Eh, I guess it's fine. I mean, we don't really need the, uh, don't really need them in our Pokédex so much as we really want them for, well, experience is more valuable than they are. I am own. Although they don't give much, so I didn't even get the level out of KOing them. Eh, anyway. Uh, one last thing I should do while we are out and about is visit Cynthia's grandmother. I think now that we are before the Elite Four, she'll show us a book with a Pokemon in it. I think so. I do not know for Siatian. Uh, I may need to do some ex extra additional possible research, maybe, uh, to uh, figure out other thingamadoodads. Uh, like if there's any other Pokemon I need to see that I won't uh, encounter in the main game. Anyway, that was a fun diversion, I guess. Uh, we can put a Fire Pun back in the front, and then I can get back to... Uh, Bertha? Is her name Bertha? I forgot her name. I'm just gonna call her Agatha too. Uh, anyway, the ground type lady in this in the Sinnoh Elite Four. I believe I can take her, make short work of her, and meet my requirements of using Charizard uh, quite easily by leading with Disney. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see... Yeah, this is about... Okay, no, she didn't. Okay, I must be imagining things. I'm so certain I needed to visit her for something in Platinum, too. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Eh, I'll have to look it up later. For now, let us get into that Pokemon League attempt numero doso. Uh, let's see, I already spent all my money, so I think we are set. Let's give it a shot, folks. I'll see you guys back at Bertha. All right, here we are, back in front of Bertha. And I had a thought. I'm going to swap out Fire Pun's held item. Uh, Fire Pun's the one holding choice specs. Yeah, I'm gonna give him something else, and then we can give the choice specs to Disney, because Disney could probably do something with it. Um, I guess I can give uh, Fire Pun the Dragon Fang for now. Alright, yeah, because, because, yeah, 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 yeah. Disney will not need. Uh, to use electric moves, so the magnet's not gonna be very helpful. Okay. Alright, let's give her a shot, folks. Round two, here we go. Uh, let's see. 
Oh yeah, her name was Bertha. I already read all that. We're gonna beat you this time, Bertha. Alrighty. A uh, Whiskash, that's right. Whiskash is no match for the power of the mouse. Get copyright striked. I mean, grass nodded. Oh, that only did 50%. Well then, we might be in more trouble than I thought. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Disney's got this. Disney does not got this. Okay then, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's try Yoga Pun. Go for it, Yoga Pun. You got this, boy! I was gonna say girl, but Yoga Pun is in fact boy. Zen Headbutt, go! Roar! Maybe I should be using Drain Punch. No, that did it. All right, good job, Yoga Pun! Ah, Gliscor. Let's see. We'll want to swap out. So let's do that. Uh, let's see, let's go with Super! Actually, if I remember correctly, Gliscor two shot Super. Um, yeah, yeah, he does. Okay, new plan! We're going with Bird Pun! Although, super being on half health is probably going to be very, very bad for us. Oh no, it's faster! And it knows Thunderfang! I should have foreseen this. Ha! Ah, bird pun survived, and now you are being Ice Beam. You're no match for my bird puns. Alright, so yeah, maybe Bertha is not as easy as I assumed. Ooh, freeze. All right, unfortunately, um, she's going to full restore, so unless that is a range and I happen to roll low, uh, Bird Prom probably gets KO'd here, or it freezes again, whichever happens first. Alrighty. That was a range! Woo! Alrighty, Bird Pun's on a roll! But this might make for a pretty inconsistent recording session for me. Future Space Oyster is going to very much hate uh, recording these, this part of the run, but I hope it is entertaining to watch my attempts at the Elite Four until they are successful. Eh. Hopefully. Alrighty, Rhyperior. Rhyperior is also no match for my bird punts. Take that, surf. Yay, we did it! Alright, and I think that leaves her with Hippowdon. Yes, or Hippodown. No, wait, no, Hippowdon. It's got Hip and Pow and Don. Okay, we're just gonna go directly for the Surf. Last time I tried Toxic, and then she just full restored it and uh, healed all the damage off, so... We're gonna skip that and go directly to the surf. Oh no, it used Stone Edge and it hit! But I thought it was called Stone Miss! Alright, since this is her last Pokemon and I am required to bring out my fresh baked Fire Puns, we are gonna go directly into Fire Pun. Wait, this isn't her highest level of Pokemon. I was so sure Hippowdon was her ace, but I think Gliscor was at a higher level. I don't remember. What I do remember is we're gonna go for a Flamethrower. Oh. She used a full restore. How dare! Alright, well, hopefully we get lucky in this burns, but I'm not that lucky, except when I am. Or it just knocks her below. Oh, that was a critical hit. Never mind. Critical hits are a thing that can happen, and unlike in Fire Emblem, it's not a bad thing. Why did I go for Flamethrower again? Well, I expected her to actually heal. 
Alrighty, that is Elite Four member Numero Doso down. Alright. Eh. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokémon earned the wind by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Ah ha 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 ha. I think that you can go as far as you want. Well, I want to get to the end, so um, do, are you sure that can happen? All right, anyway, Disney, you're getting back your magnet, because giving you the choice specs did not pan out as well as I had hoped. Fire Pun is going to swap out for the choice specs again. I gotta use a couple of the kettle knee. All right, and then I should also be planting Lepa Berries, because if I need to do multiple Elite Four attempts and I want each one to be successful, then I am going to need a lot of PP restoring items, and those are the only ones that can be farmed. But I also, ooh, I'm also a little bit inconsistent about uh, playing, so I wouldn't be able to do very well at gathering them. But that's not the point. The point is, we are going to be moving on to our next Elite Four member. And we're gonna lead with our bird puns. Or maybe I should lead with Super since he's at a lower level. She, bird pun, or not, not well, bird pun too, but Super is in fact a lady. Now, and Fire Pun has taken some damage. Do we have a small healing item? Now, now let's just pop another Moo Moo Milk on our Fire Pun. Okay. How many rare candies do I have? Five? Oh my goodness. Yo, trainer. You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire-type Pokemon user with me! Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns! So, yeah. Flint is a very hilarious member of the Elite Four because in the uh, generation, uh, or not generation, uh, Diamond and Pearl, there were only two fire types for him to use. So he was a fire type specialist with only two fire types. It was hilarious. Dark Pulse, oh no, that has a chance to flinch, which means it's going to cause Super to flinch if she doesn't get KO'd. Oh, she didn't flinch. That was neat. Or lucky, whichever. So yeah, I think instead, Flint has Lopany, Steelix, and Drifblim in Platinum, in addition to Rapidash and um, Infernape, the only fire types in Diamond and Pearl. Yay, Pichon gained a level two. Alrighty, Rapidash, how dare you? I don't know what's wrong with that. Oh, bounce, interesting. All right, let's just go for another thing I'm gonna do, Dad. Oh no, super fainted. Maybe I should have swapped to Disney there. I don't know. Anyway, let's go for our bird pun. Go, bird pun! You got this, bird pun, let's surf! Flare Blitz, ha! Huh? That's no match for my bird puns! This is going to be very unpheasant for you, ha! Huh? I got to steal that one. Well, I guess I don't get to steal it. Anyway, Unpheasant's a Pokemon. Alright, and here's a bird hunt's got that. Infernape already? Oh my goodness! Let's surfing! Oh no, it knows Thunder Punch! The monkey strikes with its wide and varied move pool. Alrighty, we need to see if we can slow it down. Disney, get out there! Because Monkey is fast. Thunder Wave! Oh no, it's going for Flare Blitz! Um, if Static triggered, this might be possible. Yay, Static triggered! It might be possible! Oh, I'm just repeating myself at this point. I can't help it. All right, let's go yoga pun. 
Now that it's paralyzed, we can use Zen Headbutt, which has a chance to flinch. And with between the paralysis chance and flinch chance, it got KO'd in one hit. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. Okay, anyway. Flareon. Well, this one's going to be a joke. Let's go for a rock slide. Oh no, we missed. Overheat. Well, I guess I had to do something with a Flareon. Oh my goodness, it was so powerful. Alrighty. We are going to make our last stand with Fire Pot, so Peachon's next. You got this, girl! Overheat, with your special attack reduced so low, this might not be a one-hit KO. It wasn't! Haha! -ha! Peachon has you right in her sights! Alrighty, come on, Peachon, you got this, girl! Yay! Alright, and last but not least, Magmortar. Alright. Alrighty, let's see, let's see here. Well, Magmortar is probably faster. Do we gamble on that? No, let's go for a nice shard for some chip damage. Chipping is nice! So is Tipping, your waitress. But I believe he might have us here, because if I recall correctly, Magmortar can learn Thunderbolt. And if his Magmortar knows Thunderbolt, then that gives it a way to hit Fire Pun for super effective damage. We'll see. Let's go, Fire Pun. You got this. You also have choice specs. So. <laughs> That did not do much. And it does know Thunderbolt. Oh no! I believe we are KO'd again! My goodness, it's like the Elite Four is challenging or something. Who would have thought? Oh. Magmortar's his ace. I thought it would be Monkey! Alrighty, so that's another failed attempt. We'll see if we can get back here and beat him again while feeding experience to other Pokemon and spending money on things and stuff. Alright, let's. I'll see you guys back there at Flint. Alright, we have returned. And thankfully, uh, since we're getting more and more levels and the last two battles are more consistent, getting back here is easy and free. Well, not free. It costs money. But we're going to beat Flint this time for sure. Maybe. Possibly. I do not know. I was so sure we'd get it that last time, but then he got a crit. Anyway, let's go for an earthquake. All right, and he's still going with Sunny Day. That's good. All right, come on, you. All right, one down. Oh, I should probably put the EXP share on Pichon instead, because Pichon is an ice type, and ice is a very useful type to have. Anyway, Fire Pun, you're up next. Don't get crit. Your solar beams have no effect against my Fire Puns. And it wasn't a critical hit that time. Ah! Now, we dragon posts. <laughs> and then it goes for the flare blitz. It didn't. They, they did not fall for the super effective swindle. But no critical hit means you do not KO me this time. Not today, 
pony. Actually, I think it's a unicorn. No, regardless of whatever Rapidash actually is, right now what it is is dead meat. <laughs> Alrighty, Inferni. Alrighty, let us swap over back to Super. Come on back, Fire Pud. You got this, Super. Yeah, your thunder punches don't work on Super. Oh, Earthquake. You call that an Earthquake? Super will show you a real, actual, genuine Earthquake. Take that. Yeah, I think Rapidash is the only one on his team that knows a grass type move. So once Rapidash is taken care of, there's not much he can really do against Super. I probably shouldn't have for you on there. Whatever. What waterfall to conserve earthquakes? Waterfall! One more should get us the win. Let's go! And then I think his Infernape, it does not know close combat. Its only fighting type move is Mock Punch. Which, I mean, on the one hand, it's priority, so that makes it useful. But on the other, uh, he doesn't have a useful... Excuse me. He doesn't have a very strong fighting type move to take advantage of. Mag Mortar! Let's see if we can quake the Earths! No, it leaves a flamethrower. And that got the KO on Super! Alright, next we're gonna do something a little weird. Maybe it's weird, I don't know. We're gonna go with Disney! Alright, Disney, Thunder Wave. Ah! You have been waved by the thunder, sir. Oh my goodness, Disney took the hit. Good job, girl. Now you thunderbolt the... Ah, maybe Disney can take out Mag Mortar all by herself. And then what's that? Flareon? Flareon. I think we got Flareon. Alright, anyway. Oh no, another flamethrower. That's not gonna do it. Alrighty. At that low health, Pichon's got this. Maybe. We shall see. Alrighty, Pichon, quake the earth! Alrighty, that is one more down. Now we have to worry about is Flare of the Eons. Alrighty. And Flare of the Eons is no match for bird puns. Ah yeah. actually did hurt, but Overheat does drop Flareon's special attack, so we should be in a good position. Will-O-Wisp? Ha! What makes you think Bird Pun uses its physical attack? I mean, it kind of does with Fly, but that's not the point. The point is, you have been surfed, sir. One more out to do it. Giga Impact? Oh my goodness. Will that hurt? Alright, let's go with Pichon. 
Go on, Peachon, you got this. Earthquake! Because Flareon must recharge. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, I guess I don't have to be that conservative with Earthquake since I got two team members who can use it. We shall see. Alright, anyway, Flint is down. Dot, dot, dot. We're really ellipsis gaming here, folks. He's got so many dots. Phew, burnt right down to cinders. That's all he had to say. Okay, so for our next Elite Four member, I'm going to lead with our fire puns. Alrighty, let's see here. So first, we reviving. Come on, revive faster. What are revives anyway, that they're able to get Pokemon back on their feet so quickly? Eh, that must be a really strong Vitamin. Or Hyper Potion. And being able to consistently defeat Flint means I get more monies to spend later. Eh. Uh, uh, yeah, and then it would probably make, uh work out better for con consistently battling the Elite Four if I had the Amulet Coin. Ooh, excuse me, but I do not have the Amulet Coin. I missed it. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, well, I mean, it's probably not too difficult to find. Thank you, Internet, but we will put that off for later. For now, we're going to battle this guy. Huh, you had timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a user of the Psychic type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that. Reputation. Alright, that must have been a very long book if it took you that long to read it, because I've been at this for a while. Alrighty. Oh yeah, Lucian has psychic types. That makes him very, very tricky to deal with. But we got this with our fire puns. Uh, let's see how much Shadow Claw does. Mr. Mime is, um, well, it has very low health and physical defense, but its special defense is really quite high. All right, let's see if this Shadow Claw gets the KO even with Reflect Up. It did! Hooray! Good job, fire pun. Also, we're locked into Shadow Claw because choice specs. Gallade? Oh my goodness. Um, let us swap over to Super. Level 59, Jeebus. Stone Miss, and it hit? Eh. Hold on, give me just a second. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, let's go for a yawn. Oh no, it knows Leaf Blade. How could I have expected that? All right, well, Super's down and we haven't done any damage. We're making progress. Um, let's try Disney. Thunder Wave. Oh yeah, Disney's faster. And thanks to the Thunder Wave working, everyone's faster. And unfortunately, I don't have anything that resists Psychic, so that's gonna hurt. Hey, Disney survived! And the Reflect wore off. That's also useful. Alright, anyway, let's keep Disney in and go for those Thunderbolts. I am going to regret that. Disney's down to a critical hit, but I think we can do this. Uh, let's see. Now let's go for our fire puns again. Alright, now that Reflect is down, let's go for an Aerial Ace, see how that does. Uh, not too shabby. Although, if it goes for Stone Edge, we're probably going to be down a fire pun, too. Ugh. 
Oh my goodness, Stone Edge can miss? I did not know that. Alrighty, let's go lay down. And we only lost two team members to do it. ESP -E on. All right, let's see here. Uh, should we swap out or do we keep going for it? Let's power through. Let's see how much we do with an aerial ace. And maybe I should have gone for Shadow Claws instead, but um, aerial ace did have a same type attack bonus, stab for short. I think he has a bronze or a bronze on, so I do want to hold on to Fire Punt for that. Fortunately, I don't think any of my other Pokemon can outspeed ESP Eon. So we might have to lose someone else here too, uh, unless Bird Punt can tank the hit. Bird Punt did not tank the hit. Maybe Bird Punt's faster. Bird Punt is not faster. Quick attack, so that kind of contributes to that too. All oh, right, Peachum, you're up next. All right, let's go for. Let's risk it for an earthquake. Although a four level difference, Psychic is pretty strong coming from Espeon, but we took it. We took it like a champ. Alright, and that's ESPE on down! And Fire Pun gained a level! Yeah, Disney had the EXP share, so now no one's cutting into their gains. We can test if this Bronzong levitates or not. Let's Earthquake! It levitates! Although I probably shouldn't have thrown Peach on away on a test that the internet could have told me about. Eh, oh well. In any case, since it is levitating, that means it is not heat-proof. And if it's not heat-proof, that means we can burn it! Let's go, Fire Pun! Mm. Yay! Fire Pun can one... Oh, co the Bronzong! Let's go, baby! All right, last but not least, Alakazam. All right, Alakazam, let's burn, baby. Oh no, it's fast. Man, really regret losing Disney to the Gallade here, but I don't know if Disney would have been able to outspeed Alakazam either. Raichu is speedy, but Charizard has a level lead over it. Yay! Flamethrower was a one-hit KO. It was probably because Fire Pun's now in Blaze range. Uh, I probably haven't actually talked about uh, Fire Pun's ability. I see. You getting past the three before me was no fluke. Something. Congratulations. You've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now, go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. I, I imagine I'm going to have to try this more than once, so probably not the final battle, but close to the final battle. Anyway, um, Charizard's ability, and the ability of every starter Pokemon, um, is pretty, pretty much works the same. Anyway, Charizard has Blaze, so when its HP is low, uh, the power of fire type moves goes up. So, because Charizard only has five hit points left, that means its fire type moves hit really, really hard. Uh, I do believe speedrunners take advantage of that feature, and so they have to uh, uh, try and keep those starter Pokemon they picked, if they're in a game that has abilities, at low hit points in order to get that uh, juicy boost to their stab moves. But at the same time, they also have to make sure they avoid getting KO'd, uh, or they avoid KO thresholds. Uh, anyway, we're gonna have Fire Pun lead against um, the champion, whoever that may be. I mean, it's not like it's someone we've met multiple times who's been really nice to us and wears a nice black outfit and has a name and is called Cynthia. Can't possibly be anyone like 
that. All right, anyway, let's do this. All right, but yeah, leading with fire pun is probably my best bet. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. That's right, Cynthia was the champion. What a twist that I didn't already spoil. Alright, and her theme is boppin'. But she leads with Spiritu to guarantee that we see it for the Pokedex. So, we're gonna flamethrower the Spiritu. Oh, right. Um, as for why why I'm leading with uh, Fire Pun and flamethrowing a Spiritu, Spiritu in this generation has no weaknesses. Well, I mean, it can get a weakness if you go uh, if you go out of your way to do it. If you use Foresight. It'll be weak to fighting type moves, but as a gar ghost dark type, outside of that niche situation, Spiritomb has no weaknesses. So you're best off just hitting it as hard as you can right out of the gate. Punch, kick, wow, a blammy. Milo tick. Oh my goodness, it's pretty Gyarados. Uh, let's swip, switch out to super. Ah, your surf is useless against Super. That's yawning. Mirror coat. That won't be effective against Super. Well, that's earthquaking. And I think Super is a hard counter to her Milo tick. <laughs> Although it has marble scale, so putting it to sleep might not have been a good idea. We'll see. We shall see. Anyway, more earthquaking. Ah, I think its ability is marble scale. Eh. Anyway, Milotic's stats are pretty much identical to Gyarados's, but instead of being a good physical attacker, it's a good special attacker, and it's, um, well, actually, they both have pretty good special defense, but Gyarados makes up for its low physical defense with, um, um, oh, what's it called? Intimidate! How could I forget Intimidate? Eh, anyway, uh, we are running low on Earthquakes, and it takes about four to KO my, my low tick. And I don't know if Super is going to need more Earthquakes in the future, but... C'est la vie! go. And yeah, Mirror Coat is basically counter, but it only works on special attacks, so like Thunderbolt, which I'm switching to Disney to use for some reason. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so it would uh, absorb the damage and then deal twice as much back. But So that can make hitting Milotic with special attacks even more ill-advised. And most of the time, I think people are going to go for Thunderbolt, since it's the most easily accessible move that water types are weak to. Alright, and yeah, Cynthia has a Milo tick to ensure that we get to see one during our adventure. Alright, Fire Pub got a little bit, Super got a little bit, Disney gets the most, because she got the KO. Oh. We're going right for that, are we? Okay, um, first, bird pun. Oh my goodness, it went for Dragon Rush. I was not expecting that. I was expecting an earthquake. Um, what's Ice Beam? It knows Flamethrower. Why would you teach it Flamethrower? Cynthia, maybe you're not champion material after all. Okay, bye bird pun. You did your best. Okay, um, super. Yeah, Garchomp is her ace, if you couldn't already tell by it being level. Now it goes for Earthquake. 
Maybe she called my switch. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's level 62. I think it's 64 in Diamond and Pearl and the remakes. And it was pa practically able to one round super. Do we leave super up or do we take the loss here? Let's go for an ice punch because I have no idea what she'll use. Uh, well, she wants a flamethrower, but yeah, I had no idea what she would use with Super on such low HPs. Alright, but if it doesn't know any Rock-type moves, we might be able to do really good damage with Fire Pun. But let's go for Peachon! This is what we have Peachon here for! Peachon, you're going to Avalanche! I mean, I also taught Bird Pun Ice Beam for that situation, but... Yeah, he, she anticipated me swapping out to... Oh my goodness. That did so much damage. Yeah, Avalanche hits hard even when it doesn't hit hard. Or when you get don't hit, get hit first. Let's go for Ice Shard. But that could just be uh, Garchomp's quadruple weakness to Ice kicking it. Yeah, anyway, anyway. All right, that is Guard Chomp down. That means the rest of this battle is going to be easy, right? It's not going to be easy. Just because Guard Chomp's her ace doesn't mean she relies on it. All right, Lucario. Lucario's going to go for a fighting type move. It's probably going to outspeed our Yoga Puns, too. But we're going to go for the Yoga Pun. Aura Sphere. So Aura Sphere is a... Well, it's no longer Lucario's signature move, not even in this generation, but it is what Lucario is known for. It is a very powerful move. Oh no, it knows Shadow Ball. Anyway, a very powerful move, 90 base power, and it never misses. Helver! All right, Yoga Pun's down. Let's see if Fire Pun can outspeed Lucario with a five level disadvantage. Hey, we can! Woo! Go Fire Pun! Fire Pun's got this! Alright, now it's a 3v2! And she's sending out Togekiss! Alrighty, uh, we'll probably need that last flamethrower for later. Uh, I have no idea what this Togekiss knows. Uh, let's go to Peachon. Peachon, you're up! Shockwave? Interesting. Um, let's Biscuit for the Risket. Avalanche! No, no, it knows Aura Sphere too. Our spheres will do nothing against Peachon. They did something against Peachon. Oh no. Well, if we have to try this again, I'll know just to go for the ice shard. All right, Disney, you're up. All right, come on, you Thunderbolt. Yay, Disney's faster. Alrighty. Unfortunately, that did not deal enough damage. Oh boy, this is a tricky situation. Yeah, because having the choice specs on uh, Charizard uh, makes this a very tricky spot. Especially since I need that last flamethrower for her last Pokemon. Alright. I think what we'll have to do is swap to Fire Punch. No, she went for Air Slash. All right, and then can we go back to Disney? I don't know. Dragon Pulse. We might be able to get Cynthia though at this current level. All we have to do is um oh Fire Pun's down. I needed him for her last Pokemon, but Disney's got this. I believe in you, Disney! Anyway, if I hadn't um, lost Peachon while using Avalanche there, I think we would have been able to get 
get her down. All right, anyway, anyway. Yep, her last Pokemon right now is Wolverid. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Well, you're not in a corner. You got this one, girl. Rose Raid is so fast. All right, that's a defeat at Cynthia's hands. I will see you guys back here. We're gonna give this one more go. All right, here we go. Back at Cynthia. We're gonna do it this time for sure, for real, maybe, probably, definitely. Uh, the difference between this time and the last time is I popped one of my ethers to restore char or. Yeah, Fire Puns Flamethrowers, so we don't get stuck in that situation where I only have one left and two Pokemon to KO with it. So we should be Gouda! We got this! Let's go! You're going down, Cynthia! And yeah, Fire Pun is just getting so many levels out of this. Alright, Flamethrower! Boom! It's mostly because Fire Pun gets to take A.A. Ron down completely solo, so uh, every time I have to rematch him, I get all the ex or Fire Pun gets all the experience. Well, almost all the experience. I have been making sure... Oh. Oh, great. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, that's right, that's right. Sorry, I just noticed that the mic wasn't on on the OBS, but it doesn't need to be because I'm recording in a separate program. Ugh, I am very weird. Okay, Super, you're up. You can take out Malo Tick. Ugh, although Super has not been getting levels out of this endeavor. Ah, you cannot mirror coat a Charizard. Now go to sleep. Ah, Water's Orb, yeah. Now we're going to Earthquake it, so that way we have... Well, actually, I hope Super can take Milo Tick down solo, but uh, if I remember correctly, the damage she dealt was a little low. Milo Tick also knows Recover, so that can be dangerous. Um, yeah, and I think Super can do this in three Earthquakes, so if this doesn't get Milo Tick into healing range, we should be fine. Um, oh, right, duh, a marvel scale. Uh, let's chip her with waterfalls. No, no, she knows ice beam. Yeah, but the goal is we want to get her to a low H, a low amount of HP, so that way she uh, is in KO range, but we don't want her to be too low, so that way we can, um, uh, so that way we don't have to worry about her using a rest or an item. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that, because she swapped a Rose Rake. That means we can swap to our Fire Puns! Go, Fire Pun! You got this! Oh no, she called my Switch! And she sludge bombed our Fire Pun! And that really hurt, but now you're sleeping. Haha, -ha, we're gonna burn you. Now she's swapped again. Ugh, she keeps calling it. Which means if I swap out another time, she's probably going to uh, use Ice Beam, calling that I'm gonna switch to Quagsire. But we have to go for it. Come on, Super, you got this. Oh no, the AI's getting smarter. Maybe I can't be her right now yet. Fortunately, though, Rose Raid is asleep, so that gives us an advantage. Okay, yawn! Did you already forget about Water Absorb Champion Cynthia? Alright, time to Earthquake. Alrighty. And then I guess we go back to plan um, A. Let's see Disney do it. Disney is at a higher level and does get super effective stabbing powers. But if it survives in mirror codes, Disney is down. And I don't know if I need Disney for anything else in this battle. I mean, she has that toga kiss, and Disney would be very helpful against that. Come on, Disney! Almost! 
I think she'll either full restore or wake up or nothing. Woo! Disney got it! Alright, unfortunately, the AI is probably going to call my switch here. And Super is really hurt already. So I don't know if we got this. Mm. Alright. Um, let's go to Bird Pun. Uh, hopefully she didn't call my switch and used Earthquake. No, she called it? No! I gotta anticipate what the AI is gonna do better. There's no low like YOLO. No, Bird Pun, you're down. How could you let me down like that, Bird Pun? Okay. Um, Super? You got this, Super. Yeah, Super actually ended up being a lot more useful in this battle than I anticipated her to be. Um, Super did not have that. Oh, crap, baskets. Okay, then, Pichon, you're up. Oh, Ice Shard, let's go! I remember last time I put her to sleep. It's not like it's been a long time since I recorded. Alrighty, although Peachon's holding the EXP share, so Ice Shard might not do as much as I would like. Ugh, yeah, that was a bit of a letdown, but we got this! Okay, Flamethrower does go off with Garchomp's lower attack stats, so maybe Peachon can take it? Peachon can take it! If we have to do this again, that is something to keep in mind. Ice Shard again! Go, Peachon! You got this, girl! You got this! Yay, a critical hit! She did get it! Hooray! That was lucky. Okay. Next up is Lucario. Alright, so for Lucario, we're gonna swap to... Um... Oh... You know what? I don't... I don't know! <laughs> Yoga Pun, you're up! Extreme speed! Oh my goodness, look at Lucario! It's so fast! He's so fast! I expected her to have a girl Lucario, but girl Lucario is more uncommon. Oh, that's right, it knows Shadow Ball! No! He, sorry, she has a boy Lucario. Now Yoga Pun is down. Uh, Disney, you're up. All right, Disney, you're gonna Thunder Wave Lucario. Woo! Hopefully that'll be Gouda enough. Uh, Luca while Lucario is half steel, um, yeah, half steel and half fighting, um, its defensive stats are a little bit on the low side. No, Disney, you're supposed to tank that. Okay, new plan. Um, wait, Pichon's in KO range. Fire Pun might be in KO range too. Oh no, you got this, Fire Pun. Flamethrower. Yeah. I she was not in extreme speed range. She was not! Alright, that is Luke of the Arios down. Alright, Peach gained experience too. Okay, Toga Kiss. Oh boy. Okay, let's just go right for the flamethrower. No need to swap out. Fire Pun has this for the win! Do not underestimate my snazzy choice specs. Shockwave? Oh no. So Togekiss can have one of two abilities. It can either have Hustle, which reduces its accuracy, but boosts its, um, uh, boosts the power of its physical moves. Or it can have Serene Grace, which boosts the chances of secondary effects happening. 
Um, Shockwave doesn't interact with either of those abilities, so it's a very weird choice of move to have on Togekiss. Especially since... Well, I don't know if it gets actually gets Thunderbolt. Hmm. Alright, but anyway, now Fire Pun is on low health. We're in blaze range. We got this! Unless Rose Raid is faster. Rose Raid's not faster! Flamethrower for the win! Come on, Fire Pun! You got these! You got these! And if you don't, we got Peach on. Yay! Fire Pun pulled all the weight and did all the things. Yay! Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful channel manager, and now you just became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Yay! Let's get a round of applause. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power and a lucky critical hit, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame and can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. Yay, we're gonna get lifted up to the heavens! Nah. Sudden stoppage. Yeah. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Lucas, your last battle was splendid! Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child I enlisted for my Pokédex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Lucas, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion! Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Lucas, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, please join us. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Lucas, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Aw, yeah, and we did it with a Charizard, yeah! And who said Charmander is the worst starter? Ha! <laughs> and Super! Oh my goodness, so much better than I expected her to be. And Peach on Yay! She did exactly what I needed her to. And Disney! Disney was there! And Yoga Pun! Yoga Pun, no. Uh, well, he helped out more than I thought he would, but not as much as I expected. Bird pun, bird pun was also there. Alrighty, that's our Hall of Fame, folks. Look at them, aren't they all so pretty? Oh, they did not think about the positioning at all. Uh, poor Charizard and, or Fire Pun and Peachon have their faces obscured and the confetti is glitching out. Maybe the recording caught it all. I do not know. All right, but anyway, that is pretty much all that there was to go with. And yeah, so saving and then the credits roll. Um, I tend to have issues when the credits roll, so I'll just cut it all off here, and I'll see you guys next time. We're going to have to delve into the post game. <laughs>